Hey guys, welcome to 3D Printing and Painting. I'd like to give you an updated tour of my new hobby room and what I have going on. So let me run my intro and uh, we'll get right to it, so stay tuned. Hey guys, here we are. Just wanted to give you do a quick little video here on what I got going on in the hobby room. I've rearranged since the last video. I took out my big desk and I put a big long uh, shelf along the wall from the back, the back side. And I got my printers all lined up on a shelf. I've got my enclosure for one CR10 when I do ABS. I've got another CR10 next to it. And then I've got four Ender 3s. And then I have another Ender 3 in a box that basically parts, but wouldn't take much to get it going, but I, obviously I don't need any more printers running right now. Don't have room and money for filament, just you know everything. I got too much going on. And here on the table, I've got uh, two Iron Man hel helmets. One's made at 100% and one is at 105% by uh, Nico Industries that I've been working on. Had a layer shift problem, so I wound up having to fix the other helmet there. I put the tape on it just to hold the mask while I glued it together. And from Special STLs, I got one of three models of Captain America. I have to work on his face and hands some more, but the rest of them's done. Looks really nice. I'll put a link in the description down below on where he came from. And here in a box from Special STL Group, I also have uh, Hulk versus Wolverine. Hulk's got a great big giant rock smashing Wolverine. And there's a base to it. It's printed at 100% scale. And what do we got over here? Okay, on my original shelf that I've had in past videos, I've done a little rearranging. I've got more unfinished models on it, and I got all kinds of parts and tools and equipment for working on my printers. And down here, let's see, Hellboy by Dennis Moore. Uh, 3dfigureprint.com came out really nice. And up here on top is pretty much what I had before. Let me just thinned it out a little bit. I've got three big Home Depot boxes here under the desk. I've got them as full as I could put them in 3D prints that are unpainted. They're about half full, a little more than that. I just had way too many models everywhere and I had no room. But once again, the table is backed up and I'll probably have to put more models in boxes. And then by fragments on the Facebook groups, we have Doomsday versus Superman. Looks really good. I printed this at 300%. It's all done in PLA. I have to do a little bit of work on Doomsday. I got a few spikes and a finger, part of a finger that I have to replace and do a little putty work and I can start painting him. It's black suit Superman. And by GTR I've got some Mortal Kombat figures here that I just recently printed. They look really awesome. They're really super detailed. I believe I printed those at 100%. They're really, really Nice. And DTRs. See the name of the. Um, I'm looking on my sheet here if so I can pronounce his name. Daniel Redson Art DTR. And I got a whole bunch of Street Fighter busts by DTR also here. Uh, big Captain America flag that I printed out. But I realized the stars and stripes are going to be awfully hard to paint on that, so I just went and bought some small flags that I'll probably use with the Captain America statue. That the Street Fighter bus came out really nice. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's ten of them there. And that base in the back is for the standing Captain America with a flag behind him. And here's more uh, statues by Fragments, Thundercats. These were in the previous video. And we 
got Batman there uh, painted by printed and painted by fragments. Got Robin uh, laying there dead in his arms. And all these models here in the front are by uh, Brady Bigger Print. Dot com, Dennis Moore. This one was in a previous video. And we've got uh, Joker and Harley Quinn. Deadpool. And the reason I painted Deadpool, uh, the dead guy on the ground there in the orange jumpsuit, is I based my colors off the render that the designer did on my, when he sold it. Punisher and Wolverine. Also by 3dpeterprint.com. And stuff up there on the freezer, Terminator by Sanix. Oh, now the battery's hooked up. He's got a red light that comes on his eye. Pro Droid from Build It Naval Common. Judge Dredd by 3dfigureprint.com, Dennis Moore. I've got a bunch of ABS rolling down the world current. I just bought some more soft pat pastels recently off of uh, Amazon so I can try to properly shape my models. I had chalk pastels, which was the wrong thing, and I didn't realize it. And a friend of mine, Ed Nels, told me about the Rembrandt, Rembrandt soft pastels. So I picked up the box. I have some miscellaneous PLA down in different colors. And here we got a Wolverine over here. I forgot to show you. This is from Dennis Moore, 3dfigureprint.com. I have to do a little bit of work on his uh, skin tone. I'll probably repaint the skin tone and soft pastel and try to detail it. Got a sword coming out of the rock. It looks pretty nice. And I'm currently doing a test frame for uh, these sculptors. They have a job of the hut scene from Star Wars and Princess Leia and some other characters around it. There's some of the parts there in number three. That's called Little Dude. This is called Little Dude Ed. That's uh, Iron Man from Sanix we just came out with. And it's, it's a blue satin uh, PLA. PLA I'm working with. That's by Arion. Arion. Got off Amazon. There's some other parts from these sculptures. And there's the base to the Iron Man right there. Printed at 100% scale in Sanix. And that's printed in um, sparkly silver PLA by Arion. And that is going to be a great big giant rock on the CR-10 there. And that's the special STLs, Hulk vs. Wolverine, like I had mentioned earlier. I'll go through and show you some of my prints here that are finished. Too many to talk about. I've talked about most of them in the past. Got a pan over to show you. I need to do a little repainting on some of them. And Austin PLA, there's a little panda bear. Another Star Wars character I have to paint the head. And none of these heads actually fit my head, they just are sad, just for looks. But basically I took over my uh, dining room of my house. We don't, me and my wife, we only have company on the holidays usually, and I didn't need this big room just sitting here doing nothing. So I made the hobby room. And actually it's getting kind of small now. Oh, and here's a Joker a bust that I started to paint a while back, and for some unknown reason, I haven't finished it, but I need to get it done. That's by Z Sculptors. And 
And Alfredo Lee's, uh, here's a small Joker right here with the Joker diorama, statue of Joker. I started the paint and the head is messed up and I reprinted a new head. I just have to get it glued on and get him painted. Here's my little paint area here. All kinds of primers and clears and the Iron Man helmet. I've got some gold and some uh, gloss cherry red that I'm going to use on Iron Man. Should come out nice. And if I need paint, I, if I don't have something, I just get on Amazon and buy it when I have money. Get my little compressor. My wife wanted a bunch of Disney characters, so there's different Disney characters in the box. I gotta glue them together, prime them, get them painted. And here's the Hulk shield, uh, Captain America shield I started working on. I sprayed it with a primed it, sprayed it with a high gloss black, and then I chromed this, but when I airbrushed a couple different reds over top of it, I've got to go back over the chrome, so I'm still working on it. Little airbrush station there, the light, the lights are still bright. Put that up up there, put it up on so. And I have a note, another Joker diorama with Harley Quinn. Joker is sitting on a chair. Harley Quinn is on his lap, and it's got explosive dynamite, different things by it. That's by Z Sculptures, and I'm not sure which box it's in. I mean, I'll kind of show you an example here. There's tons of prints just stacked in there carefully so they don't get broke. And here's a bunch of prints. A couple of them are painted, most of them aren't. Let's go over here to the third box. And lots of goodies. I just got to be real careful with them. I don't want to get damaged. Here's a Batman by Dennis Moore standing on a big uh, rock. It used to be a, a statue of a bird or something. Post-apocalyptic, I guess. I need to get it painted. But I put these in the boxes a few days ago. I just need to sort things so I can get them taken care of. But PLA breaks really easy, so you got to be really careful. And then you move it around, it'll break. And I got an air purifier there whenever I need it. There, I actually run it quite often in here. I don't have it going now, but use it right here. And that's about it, guys. There's really ain't much I can think to talk about. Uh, it's just kind of an update of what I got going on. This table here used to have a printer on it. Uh, what I call Lady Blue, and I put plywood on it, 5 inch plywood with 2 by 4 down to the corners for support, and it just sits on the table, the floor here, and I can just slide it around wherever I want. It gets in the way. I'll try to get this video posted on the internet tomorrow. Oh, here's a couple other things here I can show you. Here's some Christmas balls I made that made them light up. I'm trying to get them on. All the light in here is kind of hard to see. Looks pretty cool. Merry Christmas 2018. In the mind of Matt uh, told me about a program and that Merry Christmas logo there. He gave me half that SDL that I put on this ball. Me and my wife. Or actually, I think he did this one for us. He sent me the SDL and I printed it. And then this other one I made here. It's got my wife and her dad on it. And I got some different vases that I made. And I did not use uh, vase mode because vase mode is paper thin and you can crush it. I just used standard layers. And as you can hear, it's rock solid. It's not going to break. And my layers typically are 544. I slice with S3D. Well, that's about it, guys. It's a short little video, but I'd like to give special thanks to all the sculptors and modelers around the world. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have this great hobby that we have, and everybody really appreciates it. You guys are awesome. I'd like to thank all my Facebook members. And uh, 
all my subscribers on my YouTube channel. I think I've only got like 410 people at the moment, but I've had the channel up for quite a while, but I don't put out enough videos. It's my, I guess it's my fault, obviously. I don't have more subscribers. And uh, I'll do my best to try to get more videos out and hopefully get more subscribers to my channel. And special thanks to all my Facebook friends around the world. Um, I know a lot of you guys are watching and I appreciate all that you do for me. And you know, we're all here to help each other out. Please like and subscribe to this video if you liked it. And I just set up a uh, Buy Me A Coffee account. If anybody would like to make a small donation to help me out, to help support my hobby. I've been having a lot of financial issues with medical problems and it's kind of drained my bank accounts. But if you can help, that'd be great. And if you can't, you know, I appreciate the thought. So you guys have a good night and I'll try to get another uh, video out soon. Thank you.